what would I tell about the TM array? So, uh, actually, it's nothing else but a line array. It's just looking on, on subwoofers. I mean, the whole line array theory goes from, from omnidirectional sources. And it is about having uh, spacing the omnidirectional sources pretty close together. And this can be easily achieved with subwoofers. A subwoofer is almost an omnidirectional source. And if we look at the wavelength that we're talking about, so using a subwoofer from 100 hertz maybe to 30 hertz is a wavelength from 3.4 meters to almost 12 meters in wavelength. So we can get it all together pretty easy. So we need. 360 degrees in the horizontal coverage, which is what's, what, what a subwoofer does by itself. We don't need to help it in any way if, to do that. And we get control in the vertical just by the length of, of the array. So the easiest use of a line array that we can do. I think it's nothing new what I made. It's just using uh, physics and the effects of stacking loudspeakers and uh, making use of what we know about loudspeakers and interaction of loudspeakers for, for quite a long time. Um, it's what we teach in every seminar at the Maya Sound uh, um, education program, and everybody has the knowledge for that, because we are just living in a world of physics, and physics is predictable. So you don't have to set up the whole thing to find out if it works or not. You can do it on a piece of paper and find out if it works or not. Like I said before, uh, the moment you have drivers too far apart from each other, it starts to uh, um, build up uh, destructive interference, which means that you get very uneven coverage. So you need to be, uh, the, the drivers need to be closer together than one third of the wavelength. So the shortest wavelength we have is about 100 hertz or 80 hertz, which is something like between 3.4 and 4 meters. So we needed to get the drivers closer together than, let's say, 1.2 meters. So if you look on the, on, the, uh, on the drawings in MAP and on AutoCAD drawings, you can find out that center to center to from, from each box to the next is a maximum like 1.2 meters. And any other configuration you could think about uh, would end up with distances between 1.8 and 2.7 meters, which would be too big. If you make this distance too big, you not only end up with, with a very uneven coverage, you also lose energy because it causes cancellation. That means you need more subs. So it's not only the good coverage, it's also the most efficient way to do it. Right now we're using 40, 40 <coughs> subs, uh, which is enough for almost uh, every venue that, we, uh, that Metallica plays. Uh, the biggest venues are all around 20,000 seats so these big ice hockey arenas. The actual problem with the amount of loudspeakers is not the power because the 700 HP is so powerful. Um, we could do it with less, but um, we have the problem that we need to control the vertical. And this is done by the length of the array because uh, if it comes to the vertical, it's just a line array. So that means we need a certain length or a certain amount of boxes in the vertical to get the, the low energy out of the stage because uh, Big Mick would kill me if I would do something like 140 dB at 50 hertz uh, in his drum microphones right below the array. So um, yeah, we came up with 10 loudspeakers uh, as one array and we found out that it's a good compromise. Uh, with 10 loudspeakers we had to EQ out a little bit around 30 to 35 hertz to get the stage really clear. With 12 we would not have to do that but of course uh, using 12 and one array is one ton more of, of weight. It's eight boxes more. And uh, especially the height becomes a problem because in most arenas we only have something like 20 meters clearance or 60 feet, uh, 60 feet clearance. And in some arenas it's even less. The best thing about the TM array is it's simple. It's the most simple way to do it the most simple way to come to the result. And there's one thing that I've learned, not only in sound design, but in almost any other thing in life. If you have a chance to use the most simple way, do it. Because that's the way where the least things can go wrong.